And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Well, good Tuesday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Sheldon Brashears checking in with a quick look at radar here as we start out the day. We're expecting the bulk of any thunderstorm activity to be held off till this afternoon, but we are seeing some just to our east, and that could actually play a factor in thunderstorm chances later today as these storms are going to be sending out what we call outflow boundaries, and it is going to be sending them that way off towards the west, and that could be kind of a firing mechanism for more thunderstorms to come. But you will notice for most of the Texas Panhandle, activity is quite here for the morning, and we don't really expect that to change, at least for this morning. We're going to see partly the Mostly clear skies here as we head on throughout the early afternoon hours. We're going to see 60s, 70s, and well, ultimately climbing up into the 80s by the end of the afternoon. You'll see down off towards the southwest a good bit warmer, but for the rest of the region, you can see considerably cooler compared to what we have been used to. Of course, we saw mid 90s yesterday. We'll see low 80s and maybe even some 70s around parts of the region, but still some 90s there for some of you around the region. Of course, can't ignore the elephant in the room. As you can see right there, thunderstorm chances are in the forecast. So we are in first alert mode here at News Channel 10 for said thunderstorm chances today, as we could be seeing some severe weather all along with hopefully some good beneficial rains. As you'll see right now, most of the region underneath that slight risk, which of course, as you'll see, is a two out of five. So not an extreme risk, but we do have that enhanced risk kind of glancing our southeastern parts of the year. But most of your weather threats are in play for today. We'll kind of talk about the severity of each here in just a little bit. But looking at right now our setup, high pressure systems shifting off towards the south. Those east southeasterly winds have really got our dew points up right now. So when you have that low level moisture coming in and then of course upper level lift coming around the top of that high pressure, that's what's going to be firing up those showers and storms. So our dew points already are already on the rise as you're going to see 50 right now for your dew point here in Amarillo, seeing 60s there off towards the east southeast. So the moisture is there, so now all we need is a lift, and it does look like that is coming. So this morning, like I said, no, not expecting any showers and thunderstorms to move in, but you'll start to see things popping up going into about 3 o'clock this afternoon, and then things really start to explode as they get into that moisture-rich atmosphere. You will see a lot of the region is in play when it comes to these showers and thunderstorms. Of course, that's kind of focused on the central southern half of the region, but then shift your focus up towards the northwest is another round could possibly start to push in from around the Clayton. As you can see, Boy City area, that's going to track across the east for the northern half of the region there before things quite down at least ever so slightly going into the overnight period. But this is going to kick off the first of several days this week where we are expecting some showers and thunderstorms. So in terms of the degrees of severity of these storms, flash flooding is going to be a possibility. As like I said, we have a very moisture rich atmosphere, so that means there's a lot of rain that can fall. So places that see several rounds or sustained storms over the top of you, flash flooding could certainly be a risk. Strong winds, large hail look to be our highest risk. The tornado risk you'll see right there, not necessarily zero, but it's pretty low but there is still a possibility for a rogue tornado to pop up. So it's one of those days you definitely want to be weather aware. Have that first alert weather app on hand as well as make sure your weather radio is tuned and ready to go as well. Looking at your next seven days, you will notice most of them do have rain chances to varying degrees. We'll kind of back them down a little bit for Tuesday or Wednesday rather at 20% and then somewhere from 30 to 40% there for the rest of the week with those daytime highs, 70s and 80s overnight lows consistently in the 50s and 60s. Some days a little bit cooler than others, but for the most part, looking at several days in a row of some possible possibly beneficial rains. Thursday probably looks to be our next shot at some more significant severe weather, so we'll continue to keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, we're really focusing on Tuesday today, so keep things locked to News Channel 10 for the latest on your local forecast.